things that would trigger you. Yeah, that was what, definitely yeah, because you were also saying some things that I'm sure she was triggered by. Like what? Do you get like the OM? Um, you're looking for cliques. Um, yeah, um, you're not I can, fake. I can, I can, everything. I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I think the most consistent thing has been inconsistency within this group. Who am I to speak? We are all accustomed to the same privilege as anybody here. Nobody is bigger than anybody in this space. <laughs> But let's talk about the housemate reaction to the drama that unfolded between um, Shags and Bella and Rachel last night. Because guys, there were a lot of things I saw, a lot of conversations I heard, lots of whispers here and there that I saw. And oh my God, it was the highest order of boot licking I have ever seen in my life. It was disgusting. It was pathetic. All in a bit for what? To get in the good books of Shags? Guys, I saw a lot and I saw enough and I said, no, Gloria Elijah cannot be quiet about it. I'm going to come on here and talk about it. And I'm sure I'm not the only one in this position. I'm sure that a lot of you saw what transpired yesterday. Conversations that Shags had um, with um, Ellis Wax and Chumsy and Brian and Dotu and then with Groovy. Guys, such conversations are really pathetic. They were very, very disgusting to even listen to and they dragged for, 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 for hours, guys, they dragged and it was really disgusting, as I said. However, there were other reactions from certain housemates that I feel like are worthy of mentioning, yes, because they really stood their ground. They really stood their ground for justice. They stood their ground for what was right, yes. And the likes of Hermes, guys, Hermes deserves some accolades for the way he handled that situation last night, you know, not just as an ordinary housemate, but also as a, as a head of house. So guys, we're going to talk about all of those things that I've just mentioned on this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. So I want to encourage all of you to please watch to the end of this video. Do not skip one bit. And I'm sure that you all have your own thoughts, your own perspective to share about what I will be discussing. So feel free to go ahead and share with us in the comment section below. And for those of you that are new as well, you are welcome. All right. But please, if you are yet to subscribe, do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. Now that said, without much further ado, Let's get into this video proper. Now, during the altercation, Shags has said a lot, just as Rachel had also said a lot. Bella had overreacted. She had poured that food. People would act as though they did not see what happened. Yes, but we're not going to go into that because I've done two videos already addressing that food matter. Yes, but the matter is on Shags now. Shags knew that he had overreacted. He knew that he had, he had shot himself in the leg. And so he started rallying around gullible housemates that would listen to him so they're rallying around housemates you know that he would drag into his camp for support yes and as eyewitnesses and it, it kind of succeeded because the likes of doing the likes of um brian dotu ellis swags and chomzy they kind of they kind of swayed towards his own narrative and it was really pathetic and irritating because these set of people were at the dining area somewhere at the lounge when this whole thing transpired and Shed was not whispering when he was saying what he was saying Shed was not whispering when he started instigating the fight when he started spoiling for a fight with rachel he was very very loud and clear the shit rachel did is stupid rachel's been here long enough she knows bella don't eat beef it's dumb as fuck it's stupid as fuck but i'm not going to say that? nothing about it because rachel's annoying anyway and i don't like and I'm he said all he said with clarity so the way they listened to him retelling the narrative whilst omitting and and reducing the the impact of the things that he said of his actions guys it just made me lose respect for these sort of housemates i'm going to be talking about and guys for real i thought that what manner of connection are they looking for that would make them sell their integrity like that what manner of connection connect as they call it are they looking for after the show that would make them turn themselves into petty little cowards Petty little cowards, headless little chickens, running around and saying, oh yes, Shags, be on guard. Oh yes, Shags, I understand what you did. I understand where you are coming from. Really? You know what, before I use more words on these people, I'm going to start with doing. No, I know, I know, I agree that she definitely spoke a lot, but the thing is, once you started it, so you cannot really control how she would react. No, that doesn't make yes, sense. She, she 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 that, yes, she she said things that she shouldn't have if said. You, so now, immediately after the altercation, just about the same time that the rest of the housemates were done eating, um, they were supposed to quickly go into 
practicing for their weekly wager task, which is to happen, I think, tomorrow. And um, Shex and Bella, they had gone to their bedroom. Bella, of course, was the first to go to her bedroom. She was lying in bed. Whether she was reflecting on her actions or whether she was suing in anger, guys, I don't know. But acting like the queen of the manor, she had gone into that room to stay. And then Shex had followed suit to go and stay with her. And then they were discussing the whole thing. And Doing had gone to meet them. Now, some people would argue that, oh, doing going to go and meet them is not a crime because she's their friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you one million times over that Doing and Shex and Bella, they are not friends. Doing is the one that is claiming status of relationship. Guys, we've been watching this show from day one and we have not seen anywhere that it was established that Doing, Shex and Bella had struck up a very, very mutually beneficial friendship. We've not seen that. Instead, what we've been seeing so far on the show was Shex and Bella, you know, throwing doing. They were the ones that gave her that name of therapist. They have been insulting this girl. They've dragged her. They've said a lot of nasty things about her. She is fully aware of all they've said about her. But once again, because of what? Probably connection. Probably in a bid to be in Shex and Bella's good books. She's heavily forcing herself to be their friend. Calling herself Shex's friend. This is the same person that had a crush on Shex from day one of the show. Shex did not choose her. She got really bitter and spiteful. Got extremely petty and savage towards Shex. Only the guys of, oh, I'm speaking my mind. And now she's claiming to be friends with Shex and Bella. Claiming to be in full support of their relationship. Anyways, that aside, she had hurriedly gone into that room to go and be with them. Now, according to her, oh, I just came to come and check up on Bella. And then she heavily threw herself into the conversation. Now, at the start of that conversation, Doni was on the right track. She did well. She was able to point out and tell out to um, Shegs and Bella that Shegs was actually the instigator of the whole drama. That the drama would never have even happened at all if Shegs had not left his food gone to meet Rachel in the kitchen and called her stupid and called everything about the house stupid, but specifically calling Rachel stupid. That that was what triggered Rachel into getting really upset, especially for one person that has really told for the most part of the evening, the most part of the day in the kitchen, preparing food for the entire house to eat. Now, she did well in that regard. But then when her, when her double standard revealed its ugly head was when she saw that, okay, and um, it seemed as though Shex was getting offended that she wasn't really on his side. She now started changing her own, her own supporting narrative. I don't even feel like you actually care. Like, oh, come in here to say, oh, I don't want you to feel isolated or whatever it is. What you don't understand is that I can be in this and I won't speak to anybody for two December. Not to but would happen. you be good though? I'll actually be fine. Now, Shex was very adamant and very, very defensive. You know, Bella too was, hey, both of them were using heavy words, you know. So Shex was saying that, oh yeah, I told her that she's stupid. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. And I'm like, okay, Shex, you said she's stupid. That's your opinion. Fine. And then she said that your entire generation is stupid. That's her own freaking opinion as well. So why are you offended? And guys, just to digress a bit, why do people think that they have the, the, the audacity or the entitlement to pick the kind of weapon that they bring to a fight. I don't understand. You go ahead and slap somebody and you're expecting that the person should slap you back. No, you come and slap me, I will break your head. That's what's gonna end it. So that's exactly what Shex was expecting. Oh, I slapped Rachel. That's for instance, oh, I called her stupid. She should have just called me stupid back. I said, Shex, you're freaking delusional. You're freaking delusional. Yeah, you, 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 you go into a fight with a pen knife. And you're expecting your opponent to also come with a pen knife. Is that not madness? Is that not delusion? No. Your opponent has every right to come with an atomic bomb if they want to finish you. Because you don't, you don't dictate how people react to your offenses. You don't dictate how people... In fact, you don't have the monopoly of madness. You think you do? Trust me. There are people that they are, where your madness stops. That is where their own madness begins. That was a typical display of what happened last night, guys. And so that was Sheikh's own line of argument that, oh, I call that stupid. That is my own, um, that's my own opinion. So why would she go ahead and insult my generation? And guys, guess what? As intelligent as doing is, and as smart and woke as she has portrayed herself to be on the show, this girl decided to say, oh yeah, she was wrong in that regard. She, she, she shouldn't have insulted your generation. Oh yeah. And now they are saying, she was not casting the rest of the housemates, that now they are saying that you were wrong. Bella was not who are they? Who are they? I said, look at this, look at these three clowns. Three freaking clowns. Guys, Doing really disappointed me last night. 
My, in fact, she has been disappointing me for the past one week now. We thought this are nonsense interference in Shex and Bella's relationship. But guess what? Last night was the last straw that broke the camera's back. I looked at Doing and said, Doing, if you are evicted this Sunday, then you deserve it. And then for the conversation that Shex had with Brian and Dotu, guys, that conversation was really pathetic. I'm something similar to the way you do. Mm -hmm. I really don't care about, mm -hmm. you know, like what is said. I, as far as you don't cross that line, exactly. You express yourself exactly how you feel in that mm -hmm. moment. Oh my God, guys, I'm looking for another word. It was really pathetic. It was irritating. I was looking at those two young men, or should I call them young boys, babies. They, they did not, guys, they could not even form a proper sentence without stroking Sheikh's ego. Mm -mm. Brian was acting like he was finding it difficult to put his thoughts together. What was he saying? Eh, I don't know how to put it like this. Mm. The littlest of things mm -hmm. creates a narrative. Mm -hmm. People are waiting for him, like for something to create a narrative. I mean, that boy was being so dramatic. I said, oh, now cut, cut your tongue. Now you cannot speak. Your brain, your emotional intelligence that you think you have cannot cannot form words, cannot formulate the right statement to make to reprimand Shags. Yeah. Now you are forming he. Oh, I don't know how to put my words together. Mm, I don't know how to say this. And as he was doing it, he was turning and looking at the cameras. Mm. I mean, I was so disgusted. I was disgusted, especially at Brian, because I knew that if he were to be a female now. He would stand up and say, this thing you're doing is stupid shit. You're dumb. You're dumb. The same energy he displayed with beauty, the same energy as he, he displayed with Ilebae, with Fina, with Amaka, Wumarapa. If he was a woman, Brian would have things to say. But he came to Shags. Brian could not talk. He said the words were refusing to form in his mouth. I said, no wonder you're a babe. Guys, it was so irritating to watch. And then for Dotun, Dotun one minute, he would try and say, ah, and both of you went at each other. Like this guy was literally telling Shex, Shex, be on guard. I said, be on guard for what exactly? Who exactly is dishing out violence tonight? Was it not Shex and Bella? So what exactly does Dotu mean by, oh, Shex, be on guard? Guys, those words entered my brain. I felt like entering into my TV and carrying that Dotu's mustache, you know, yanking it off and throwing it away. Let him be beardless. Yeah, people who have beards should not be acting like they don't have sense. No way. Ah! It's an insult to beard gang members. Jesus. Guys, I was pissed. Then he was advising Shags. Eh, no, Shags, just calm down. He said, eh, yeah, but you have a point. Eh, eh, he was not, he was not even justifying Bella carrying that plate of rice to pour on Rachel that, oh, I saw what happened. I know that she did not mean to pour the rice. She wanted to turn the rice inside Rachel's plate. I said, this is poor, this is poor, this is poor, uh, myopic. For real, they're myopic. I mean, Bella really wanted to turn the, that, that, that plate of rice into Rachel's plate and then she lifted it from above. Is this how you turn food into someone's plate? Are we blind, really? Are we blind? Is it that us, the viewers, did not see what really happened? If Rachel had not raised her hand to avoid that plate coming, to, coming at her face, Bella wanted to pour that food on Rachel's face. Yes, that was what we saw. Guys, honestly, I was so disappointed in Dotu. As I tweeted last night, Dotu and then uh, what's his name? Brian, they are cowards. And then Elo Swags and Chomzi. Chomzi was literally revisiting our old beef of the day with Fina into the whole matter. Because when the whole thing happened, Fina was really offended because she too, she's a cook of the house. So she was really telling Chex and Bella that, Bella, you disappointed me. You shouldn't have done that. If I were to be the one that prepared this food, I wouldn't have taken it lightly with you. Because you don't know the stress involved in cooking food. And guys, it was even last night that I discovered, according to what um, the rest of the housemates said, that... Um, Fina and Cheesy and Chi Chi, they said that the food was not even enough for Elo Swags and Chomzi. They even had to now start removing food from people's plate so that it would be enough for these people. So if Bella knew that she wasn't going to eat, why didn't she give it to the people that needed the food the most? In short, she wasted that food. So imagine Elo Swags that did not even see food to eat. Instead of him to be upset that Bella wasted that food on nonsense, on stupid rage, and rage that is not even her own rage to inherit. He was busy supporting Shex. I said, nah, these people, they are cowards. And guys, let's place a bet. It will shock all of you. After the show, you see that connection that they think Shex is going to give to them. You see that Messiah that they think Shex is going to become to all of them. They will not see it. Because the same thing happened with Kidwire. Yeah. 
Kid Y and Erica, they were busy doing, oh, after the show, we are going to move with this one, we are going to roll with this one. After the show, Mom, Kid Y is to your tent, oh, Israel. The guy is living his best life out there. Current, was it two days ago? He revealed his foreign fiance, a white lady. Yeah. So these things happen. So guys, Elo Swags, Chumzy, Ryan, Doin, Dotun, cowards, all of them, cowards. One minute they are saying that, oh, Shags, you shouldn't have said this. The next minute they are coming to come and stroke his ego. Double standard, all of them. Rubbish, according to Hermes. Rubbish. Now, moving on to Hermes. Nobody hears that he's a child. Nobody is a BS below 18. So everybody carries the capacity to handle their own shit within whatever capacity they hold there. So that's everybody's business, to be honest. I want to give him accolades. I love the way he handled the situation because obviously Hermes was very, very upset. He was angry, but he had to thread carefully because number one, it wasn't his fight. Yeah, it was an altercation between, you know, certain housemates and as the head of house, it was his duty to remain neutral in the whole matter. But then he had seen what um, Bella had done and then he had called for a meeting immediately after the fight and I love what he said. I place it to share, to clean all of this based off of the mandates, bro. Mm -hmm. Her big brother has said that you're here to serve, bro. This thing, you would help us clean it up. He had addressed all of them and told them that, listen, in this house, we are all equal. Nobody is bigger than anybody. I don't care what or who you are outside the house or what you think you have or what you think you're doing outside the house. As far as we are inside this house, everybody is equal. And I love the fact that he was saying that he was actually referring to Shags. Yes, at that point in time, Shags was talking to Groovy. He was trying to convince Groovy as well, you know, to be in his camp, to support him as an eyewitness to everything that happened. And that was the point where Hermes was saying what he was saying. I said, yes, Hermes, give it to him. Say what you want to say. And after Hermes was done saying all of those things, he now decided to use Shag's role or punishment as tale of house, you know, to serve the household by cleaning the mess that Bella created. Because Bella was actually saying that she's not cleaning the mess, that Shag should not clean the mess, that Shag should leave it. They should leave it and go and sleep. I said, okay, oh, I thank God that Big Brother sees everything and hears everything. So, <laughs> he pointed it out that Shags, as your punishment, as tale of house, as imposed on you by Big Brother, you have to clean the entire dining area. And then he now reminded the rest of the housemates. And then he now reminded the rest of the housemates about, you know, their own duty to use that punishment that Big Brother had given to Shags to send Shags on errands. That what he just gave to Shags is the collective decision. That the rest of the housemates should also remember that it is the obligation to use shags to serve as the tail of house otherwise that can contribute to them losing their wage and guys everything Hermes was just indirectly saying was that they need to punish shags yes for allowing all of that drama all of that mess to happen and to disrupt the preparation for their wager task guys i sat down where i was i was giving i was giving Hermes a round of applause i said yes as a leader that is the best way to approach the matter but guess what once again Shags rebelled. Guys, Shags did not clean it. So this is me again reminding Big Brother for the one millionth time this morning that Big U, your child, Shags, decided to flaunt the demand of the head of house. Number one, he pissed on the authority of Hermes as head of house. Number two, he pissed on the authority that you have actually set on ground that the housemate should send um, Shags on errands as an act of service to the rest of the house. So he refused to clean the table. He did not clean it. So it was this morning that Bella now went ahead to go and start cleaning the table. I said, big brother, all these crimes, all these offenses that I am helping you to count because you will now come and act as if none of them matters. I'm helping you to count them. Biggie, do the needful. Do the right thing. They've Kukusha said on my channel that I always look up to the skies when I'm referring to big brother. Big brother, they will know where you are. But I'm just saying, Biggie, do the need for. Shags has broken rules again. He has broken and flaunted your authority. So Biggie, do the need for. And last but not the least, last but not the least, Chichi, Cheesy, and Fina. I want to give them massive, massive accolades. Those three, they are the realest MVPs. I love the fact that they, ra they raised their voice to all of that rubbish that Shags and Bella were doing last night, especially Fina. She said, no, you cannot try this nonsense. There's no food in this house. We're all managing food. We're rationing the food. Food did not even go, out, go around for Elo Swags and, and Chomzy. And then you had the audacity to throw away the food. And guys, Bella was actually lucky that it was not Fina that she was going up against. Trust me, 
the matter it would have been higher and bloodier than it was last night. And for Chi Chi, I love, love, love the fact that she disregarded the so-called nonsense rubbish friendship that she had with um, Bella to raise her voice in support of um, what's her name now, Rachel. But according to her, she could not really do much because the last time she overreacted, she received the punishment from Big Brother. Although she should have received the strike, Biggie, we are still on that matter. Mm. She should have received the strike, but she did not. And that was why she could not really be physically involved in the whole drama. But she ensured that she raised her voice. And even after the whole matter had died down, she was fully in support of Rachel. She did not go and meet what's her name, Bella, for any reason. So guys, really, all of these things happened. And I must say again, that you see those housemates that constantly boot leak and ass leak Shags and Bella. Honestly, they will be disappointed after the show. That thing that they are looking for, they will not see it because we've seen it happen on the show before. Yes, they won't see it. That connection, all that nonsense, they will not see it. So ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Have an amazing day.